My name is Svetlana Brzev and I'm going to explain what is confined masonry construction. Confined masonry is a building technology that um, consists of um, use of uh, masonry walls uh, and reinforced concrete confining elements um, they, uh, which, which are, some of which are ver vertical and they're called tie columns enclosing those masonry walls and horizontal elements which are at the floor level and the roof level and they're called tie, tie beams. Um, masonry walls can be, could be built using any masonry units, um, various masonry units such as um, burnt clay bricks, fly ash bricks, or um, concrete blocks, hollow or uh, solid. Confining elements uh, are, are um, built of uh, concrete and uh, reinforcement, as will be explained later. And in terms of uh, floor, floor construction, it's usually reinforced concrete slabs that are used for confined masonry construction. However, for roofs, it could be reinforced concrete slabs or it could be uh, some uh, other systems such as uh, wood trusses or, or, or alternative roof systems. To summarize, key elements of confined masonry uh, building are masonry walls, reinforced concrete or RC tie columns, and RC tie beams. Uh, here is an example of a confined masonry building under construction. In fact, uh, this is one of the first uh, confined masonry buildings in India, uh, currently under construction at Indian Institute of Technology uh, Gandhinagar campus in uh, Gujarat. And uh, you can see um, uh, that um, masonry walls uh, are built and they look grayish because the fly ash bricks uh, were used for construction. And uh, confining elements, uh, tie columns, are shown at uh, the openings and uh, many locations on, in this building. Uh, they are going uh, throughout the building height. And um, uh, horizontal elements are uh, tie beams and they are also seen, they're integrated with uh, reinforced concrete uh, floor and the roof uh, slabs. Um, this, this, uh, this photograph ha was taken in uh, May 2014. Here is an example of a single story, single family housing in Indonesia. Um, you can see uh, green colored uh, confining elements, uh, tie columns and um, tie beams which are horizontal at the uh, uh, eaves level and the uh, roof, roof in this case is a sloped roof uh, with uh, timber uh, trusses and the lightweight CGI uh, roofing and the gable wall which is, which is shown here is, uh, is made of uh, lightweight um, plywood or uh, CGI panel. Um, Another example is uh, from Chile. It is um, uh, housing uh, in a row or um, some sort of a bungalow type of building, uh, G plus one, as you can see. And uh, it, is also, it also has lightweight uh, uh, roofing and confining elements are uh, visible at, um, uh, at uh, certain locations. Um, in this case, uh, confining elements are not placed at, uh, at the openings, which is um, a matter of uh, decision for a particular uh, project. Um, another example from Chile. Uh, in Chile, many people live in uh, confined masonry buildings for uh, different uh, heights. Uh, one uh, typical application is apartment buildings. Uh, this is uh, an example of a G plus 3 uh, building um, where uh, you can see confining elements uh, placed at, um, uh, at the openings and uh, these are tie, tie beams and uh, again it is a sloped roofing. Chile is a country where um, there are many earthquakes. Uh, every 10 years they have a magnitude uh, 6 earthquake or higher and uh, this building was exposed to a magnitude 8.8 .8 earthquake in uh, 2010 and was not damaged. 
Confined masonry construction has uh, several similarities uh, with uh, reinforced concrete uh, frame construction with masonry infill, uh, infills or RCC construction, but there are a number of differences which will be explained here. So um, this uh, illustration shows um, three differences for uh, RCC construction, which is in the left column, and confined masonry or CM construction in the right-hand column. First difference is related um, uh, into construction sequence. So construction sequence in the case of RCC uh, frame construction is uh, that uh, RC frame is constructed first and masonry walls are constructed uh, next, whereas in confined masonry construction, walls are constructed first uh, followed by concrete uh, confining elements. The second is size of um, RCC uh, confining elements or RCC elements. In case of um, RCC construction, elements are uh, columns and, uh, and the beams, which are uh, pretty robust uh, or larger in size uh, compared to confining, uh, confined masonry construction uh, when we talk about tie columns and tie beams. And the reason is that, um, that RCC uh, frame construction uh, carries both gravity and the lateral loads. So uh, whereas in um, confined masonry construction, um, walls and uh, confining elements work together and they carry both types of, of loads. And that, that is the third difference and that is a behavior, earthquake behavior of this type of uh, these two types of construction or construction technologies. Um, as you can see the, in RCC frame construction uh, when seismic, uh, under seismic loading masonry walls act like uh, struts and the uh, frames would take all the effects of bending in, uh, in the joints and in the columns columns and beams, whereas in confined masonry construction, the whole wall, uh, including confining elements, works together under seismic loading. It is important to discuss construction sequence or difference in construction sequence between confined masonry construction and uh, reinforced concrete frame construction, because these two construction technologies are similar and uh, Completed buildings look very similar at the end. However, the actual sequence of construction is different. In confined masonry construction, walls are being built first. Masonry walls are being built first up to the floor uh, level. Um, and after that, subsequently, confining uh, elements, confined tie, uh, tie columns are being, um, uh, being constructed. Uh, concrete in these uh, tie columns is being poured after the walls have been built. Uh, and of course, once the floor construction has been completed, then tie beams and, um, and the slabs are being uh, built on top of uh, the walls and tie columns. Um, on the other hand, uh, for reinforced concrete frame construction, uh, frames and uh, along with the uh, floors and uh, roofs are being built first. Uh, for the entire building, and uh, masonry infill walls are being uh, constructed at the very end, as it can be seen here. So that is a major difference in the construction sequence, and it has implications on the differences in behavior of these two technologies. To summarize, um, confined masonry uh, construction can be defined as uh, walls first construction, or can be described as walls first construction, whereas a reinforced concrete frame construction with masonry infills could be described as framed first construction. Um, in the end, to, we can summarize the, um, the, the discussions uh, from this tutorial as um, uh, the first uh, key components of uh, confined masonry uh, building have been uh, explained. Uh, secondly, uh, building examples from India and around the world have been shown and uh, uh, possible applications were discussed. And finally, a comparison between uh, confined masonry and RCC frame construction has been explained.